It's time to step up your game. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! You're listening to a special presentation of Game On. Coming to you from the Calgary and Comic Entertainment Expo. We got interviews, we got cosplay, we got special guests. So get ready, because your presentation of Game On starts now. Game On! Game On! Game On! All right, I'm here with Bob Bergen. One of your many voices that you do is Porky Pig. I was wondering, since Porky has that bit of a stutter, when you do other characters, do you ever just randomly throw in stutters in them? Not if I don't want to get sued. No, 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 I don't. Uh, but, I, but it's funny because I, I know that there, there have been other people who was like, well, we don't want to hire Bob because we don't want the character to stutter. I'm like, I promise your character won't stutter. I can control it. Okay, so that's never been an issue. It's not an issue, no. No, I didn't think so. But uh, now you voiced uh, Luke Skywalker as well. And Robot Chicken, that's like just crazy off the walls. Is it that atmosphere when you're, when you're recording as well? Without a doubt, it is. I look at the script, I'm like, really? So, yeah, it is without a doubt. Uh, Seth Green is probably one of the best voice directors in the business. And it is, it's a party. It's a big old party. When, you, when you're voicing Luke and to get a handle on the character, did you... I mean, everybody's watched Star Wars. Do you watch it in a different way to study Mark Hamill, or do you kind of put your own spin on it? I'll tell you a, a, a little story. I turned down the audition originally for LucasArts because I said, I can't do Mark Hamill. And my agent called me up and said, they still want you to read. They think you can do it. I walked into the audition. I said, I can't do Mark Hamill. And they said, don't do Mark Hamill. Do Luke Skywalker. I went, oh, Okay, so I don't even think Mark, because Mark is Luke. I just try to play the character, you know, pre-Jedi and post-Jedi. There's a little bit little difference to the character. And when it's Robot Chicken, it's like Luke on LSD. I mean, it, it's just, it's, it is, it is, it's Luke to the nth degree. So I don't even know if I'm thinking Star Wars, let alone Luke Skywalker, because it's so much fun and so different. So if is that crazy in there when you're recording? Do you ever go out of the studio and be like, what just happened? Every time I work for for uh, for Robot Chicken, it's like that was that was too cool. Each time we do we did a Robot Chicken Star Wars, uh, they would throw a big party at, at Skywalker Ranch, which was pretty darn cool. That was pretty amazing. And then and and George gave us each lights, lightsabers nice. as a, as a parting gift. That was pretty darn cool. How much do those things go for? Like a real legitimate George Lucas lightsaber? I didn't ask. I just took. But when we all walked on the Southwest Airlines airplane to fly back, we did look a little obvious. <laughs> Uh, with Luke Skywalker and Porky Pig being some of your main characters that you voiced, are they your favorite, or do you have a favorite character? I'd say Porky's definitely my favorite. I, got, I actually got into this business to be Porky Pig, so you know, um, you know, when you're an actor, you're just happy to be working. But Porky's definitely my favorite. Yeah. It's all about the game, and how you play it. All about control. If you can take it. Do you think that we could play another game? Maybe I could win this time. You're listening to Game On with Jeff Johnson on GameandTrain.com.